Tracker 7 weather is presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Hey, good evening, Ohio Valley meteorologist Tyler Vanji here. Let's figure out what to expect with this weather. Weather, not so bad. The smoke, on the other hand, completely different story. Here's a look at your satellite and radar. Now, that doesn't showcase the smoke trapped in the atmosphere, but what it does showcase is some cloud coverage pushing to the south, and we can notice a counterclockwise rotation in the upper levels, all due to a low placed up towards the New England states over towards Maine, and that will continue to bring down that smoke thanks to those northerly winds. So it's not looking like the best of criteria as we head through your day tomorrow. Some predictor smoke showcases exactly how it plays out. We wake up for your Thursday morning. Not too bad, but if you live in towards northeastern or north central Ohio, that's more so the problematic area. But as we close out your Thursday, here's the key thing. Our winds will shift more so directly from the north, and we could see the same setup that New York is seeing, New Jersey is seeing, and their criteria for their air quality index is sitting right around a 360, believe it or not. So that's down towards hazardous, surpassing everything across this board. Current time being, Wheeling sitting at right around a 77 for the air quality index. And over towards Moundsville, we're sitting right around 95. So just shy of that criteria, just to remind you that air quality index value, if it's sitting below 100, that's when you're starting to do more harm than good breathing in that air. And if you are pregnant or know somebody that is pregnant, tell them just stay indoors. It's not worth it. You could increase that potential to have a preterm labor. Now our winds are from the north, anywhere from five to 10 miles per hour, gusting as high as 15. We still see some 12s here across the board, and that's good news. The faster the winds are, the less smoke is trapped here at the surface. So that's gonna be the key moving forward, not to mention that precipitation. We're lacking it thereof. Some good news though, as we head through your Friday, I'm tracking a potential to see some instability. That's just gonna be those clouds building up, but I don't really expect us to see rainfall. Our best chance is actually gonna be your Sunday. So heading through your Sunday, closer to your Monday, seeing rainfall more widespread across the boards. And that's exactly what we need here for the Ohio Valley to get rid of all this nasty weather. 73 degrees, that's where we maxed out. We stay shy of your average due to the clouds and the smoke in the upper atmosphere. We didn't really get to see that sun very impactful for our day today. No record setting heat or chill, but tomorrow morning we wake up to a cooler start, the mid to lower 40s. We haven't been there for about a week and a half, so just a little reset. And for those who like the cooler air, like Chief Meteorologist Zach Petty, that's some good news for them. Predictor does have clearer skies across the board, despite that low pressure parked up to the northeast. As we head through your day tomorrow, I am expecting an increase in cloud coverage despite that smoke. It's going to be across the board. As we head through the evening hours of your Thursday, that's when the smoke's really going to be more impactful. Those winds are going to die down just a bit, and it may, might, might make those things uh, a little bit harder to breathe if you have those underlying health conditions. Friday, an increase in cloud coverage brings a spotty chance for rainfall, but overall, I expect us to stay dry for the rest of this work week. Saturday, another chance for sunshine, and hopefully you get out there and make up those baseball games that were canceled for today. Sunday, widespread rain across the board, and we continue that trend even into your next work.